Years ago when I started this, the, the first thing that I developed was a lab project manual because that was the key element in all the training that I did were the lab projects, the hands-on lab projects that the students or the learners did under my supervision. To that, I added technology lectures. In other words, if you were sitting in a classroom at a university or a college, you would get lectures then you would have lab time, and then you would have lab discussions. So I've showed you where to get the lectures. The primary lectures, you can get enough free on YouTube to get you started. I also discussed hardware, and I pointed you to videos to build a hardware training station. The next item would be the actual lab projects, the documents that you follow to complete lab projects. So let's go look at what we have now. If you Google PLC professor, you will find this website, PLC e University. This is the website where uh, you can order the manuals. And I have lab project manuals for, we'll say three families or three platforms. RS Logix 500 using MicroLogix and MicroStarter software, and then RS Logix 5000, Studio 5000 with Advanced, and then also Connected Components Workbench. Now, this manual here and this manual are the same. The difference is this is just part one. This is parts one and two. And this is also a two volume set. And then you have the advanced subjects. But what we're talking about today is learning with the MicroLogix learning to use Rockwell software. It is really RSLogix 500, but the stripped down version of MicroStarter. And these two manuals right here, the yellow and black, orange and black, whatever you want to call it, that's the exact same manual. The difference between product number 41 and 43, this one includes a memory stick that has manuals on it, uh, the hardware manuals from the manufacturer and a few other documents but it also has a copy of the free software, MicroStarter Lite. I do not sell software. I don't support software. So the, this little jump drive or thumb drive is made available as a courtesy to folks that can't find it on the Internet. And like I said before, every time I find it, and usually the way I get it is I go to Rockwell Automation Tech Support and I hound them, and they give me a link that I can go to download it. But sure enough, if I put that link out there, then it gets moved and it doesn't work for people. So I'm, I am all through providing a link to that free software, but I do have, I do make a copy of it available free with the memory stick that's not free. So the difference in price between products 41 and 43 is that memory stick. Also, we do sell a kit for the digital fill device simulator. This is the complete kit here. No wire, no solder, shrink tubing or any of that, or just the box or just the parts. So let's look at the manual. The manual is about 300 pages and you can see the table of contents. All the projects on or in this manual are aimed at teaching you the basics, all the basic instructions, and there's a lot of practical applications. You can see here from the image that this is a conveyor system. And matter of fact, this one is for the retentive on instruction that accumulates runtime on conveyor motors to operate the loop system. So scattered throughout this manual, this 300 page manual are many practical applications. Then we also have a virtual machine that you're looking at right here. And this virtual machine, we go through the entire process of programming it. It has five cylinders, a couple conveyors, some photo eyes, uh, proxies on the cylinders, etc. So this is a complete PLC learning system. So this is the, the only document that we have, it's the only lab projects that we have for the beginner to learn ladder logic diagrams.
If you need further assistance when you do the lab projects, remember that at a university or a college, or at a school, you would have general lectures on the technology, and then there would be lab periods where you would do hands-on lab projects. And then after each lab project, you would get back together as a class and you would have a discussion. Now, the way the manual is written, these discussions aren't 100% necessary. But because some students need that extra discussion, we have a series of lectures available as a six-month streaming period subscription on Vimeo. You would go to Vimeo on de demand and type in RS500 ML1400. So uh, Rockwell Software 500 or RS Logics 500, Micrologix 1400. So that's RS500 ML1400. And there you would find uh, 12 and a half hours of instructional videos. You see all the subjects here. We could go down and read them all, but uh, we we don't need to do that. I mean, we even throw in a few things like how to use the emulator. If you want to use an emulator instead of actual hardware, there is no simulator for 500. And an emulator is something that takes a section of the memory in your computer and has it mimic or emulate a processor. But you have no I.O. You have to go in and use your mouse and toggle bits on and off. You have nothing to simulate I.O. So all of these subjects right here, navigating the data table, first rung of logic, etc., these are all discussion of projects in that orange and black manual. You can see there's 32 here. Uh, here are those six videos that I already pointed you to that are free on YouTube. So these says bonus, that just means they're free. So if you need more help, more lectures, more discussion, this is where you can get it. And you ought to be able to complete the whole thing in three months, much less six month, months. There you have it. We told you what would be a good PLC to use to learn with. I pointed you to lectures on general discussions, electricity, magnetism, basics of PLCs, how to build a learning station. And in this session, we talked about lab project manuals. All the projects in that manual were developed in live classroom uh, situations, and they were edited continually to reflect the questions that the students and learners ask after they did the labs. So the labs are fairly inclusive of anything that you would want to know to learn PLC programming and get started. Troubleshooting is yet another subject for another day. God bless your learning experience. You have a nice day.